News on Wiki campaign. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how we're using lists to manage our campaign to, uh, to add newspapers to Wikipedia. So this is our main page on Wikipedia. Um, you can get to this page from anywhere just by typing WP colon News on Wiki. Uh, you'll see that prefills. That'll take you to this page. So the WP is just a shortcut. Um, and once you're here, I'm going to just scroll down to pages and lists for our areas of focus to this section. So we have these three areas of focus, Washington, uh, Washington State, Black-owned newspapers, and newspapers of the Caribbean. And let's go to the page for Washington State. So this is still this is still within the Wikipedia space, meaning that it's not actually a part of the encyclopedia. This is sort of behind the scenes for project coordination, that sort of thing. And you'll get a bit of a description here up at the top. The um, this page really serves two purposes. The the first purpose is to collect lists of newspapers that fall into this category that we want to create a Wikipedia article about. And the second purpose is to collect um, bibliographic information about source materials that could be used to expand those, to write or expand those pages. So um, links to web, uh, to news articles about newspapers uh, or journal articles that list the newspapers in a state or bibliographic information about a book um, that lists newspapers in the state. So as we go through the page, we're going to see sections for, for each of those. So first, we have lists of papers. And I'll get into that. And then resources, that's going to be reference materials. And then we have a few, uh, a few other con connected concepts below that. So for lists of papers, this the first list this is something that was put together by our colleague Mike Caulfield for the first iteration of the News on Wiki campaign, which was in 2018. So he built pages like this for every state. And it's he, he built this off of, uh, I believe it was principally built off of Mondo Times, which is a website that has information about newspapers around the country organized by state. So he basically took all the newspapers that that website lists for a state, created one line for each of them, and then built these handy links to, uh, to searches for information on various websites. So that, like, let's say I want to start an article about the Statesman Examiner. Um, if I click on Mondo, it's going to run a search on state, Statesman Examiner on the Mondo website. Uh, if I click on LOC, it's going to run a search on the Library of Congress Chronicling America website. So these are basically just shortcuts to tailored searches to, to get source materials about these papers. So you'll also see each line begins with a link to the newspaper itself. Uh, in some cases, that's pretty clearly going to be the correct title like uh, San Juan Islander, I'm going to guess that is precisely the, the title of that publication. Um, and then in other cases, it's just it's what Mondo Times listed, but it actually might not be the title that you would use on Wikipedia. So for instance, the Statesman Examiner, there may be several different newspapers called the Statesman Examiner, so we might need a more specific title, the Washington Statesman Examiner, or if it's a particular city in Washington. Um, so in some cases, these links, there might actually be a Wikipedia article about this newspaper, but it's not under this precise title. So that's an important thing to look for when you're, uh, when you're building an article. Uh, and then also at the end of each line, you're going to have a link to a draft version of the article. So of course, whenever you have a red link, that means that the page doesn't exist on Wikipedia. So for this one, the Kashmir Valley Record, let's say I wanted to start a new article for the Kashmir Valley Record. I would, I could either go directly to this link at the beginning if I felt pretty confident that I was going to be able to create a a, a, a good strong first draft of an article uh, in one sitting. I might just go and create it there. But most people are going to feel more comfortable creating a draft where there's sort of less. It's a lower standard for um, for inclusion. So it's not going to it's not going to appear immediately on Wikipedia, but it's also 
uh, much less likely that that anyone's going to have a problem with anything you do there. As long as you're making a good faith effort to build an article uh, that's worthy of Wikipedia, you're going to have several months to do that before anyone's going to have uh, any kind of objections. If if something does sit around for too many months, uh, someone it, it it may get deleted at a certain point. Uh, so you do, once you start an article, it's a good idea to carry it to completion. Um, so as you can see, just from that description I gave, there's kind of a natural flow from, you know, these links here um, on any one line. The main, th the first thing that you'll want to do, in addition to any other uh, research you want to do to find good sources, is look at each one of these links and see if you can find a good reference material for that paper. And then if you're going to start a draft, you might just uh, you might go to each one of these. Like I'm going to just click on Mondo for the. Well, let's let's pick a different one. I'm going to go to Mondo for the San Juan Islander. And so, like I said, this is this is just a search um, on on the terms, right? It's a shortcut to a search on the terms. So there is an exact specific page, San Juan Islander website in Friday Harbor, Washington. So this is, and then this this other search result that comes up, this is a general page that happens to list that among others. Um, so one thing that I can do just to make a small improvement is if I click on this and then I copy the URL, I'm gonna go back to, just click my back button a couple times to get back to that page. And I'm gonna edit this section and now within this page, I'm going to do a find within page, uh, command F for control F for San Juan. OK, so this is pulling up that line. And in here, we'll find the link, this long link for the Mondo search. And I'm going to just delete what's there, and I'm going to paste in that specific URL. So I've just, I've just Eliminated a click for the next time I or someone else comes along here, you're going to get directly to that. Um, so I'm going to say improved Mondo link for Islander and publish changes. So it's a very that's a very tiny improvement, but that's one that's going to make it easier for either myself or whoever uh, eventually gets around to writing an article about the San Juan Islander. So. The, the next step would, would be to take that link and several others and maybe just drop them into the draft article. So, you know, without even having to compose any prose about the San Juan Islander, we could collect the links that are here and put them into the draft page. And again, then you're one step closer to writing an article. So that's sort of the flow of how this list works. And I'm going to just keep scrolling and I'm going to show you there are a couple of other lists that we have. Um, that we have in here as well. So uh, entry in new editions, this refers to this book called New Editions, the Northwest newspapers as they were, are, and will be. So this is a 2013 book that lists many newspapers in Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. And so I have put together a list of every newspaper that has an entry in that book. And you can see in, in most cases, I've made a, a link which Again, it might or might not be the precise name uh, that it would be under on Wikipedia. So there might be a little bit more uh, investigating to be done. Someone else has already come along and, and linked some of these to the papers that had a slightly different title already. So that's another way that you can improve these lists is to go through and, and specifically fix any list, any link that isn't quite named properly. So, um, so once we have this list, it can be matched up to the list above. And so I've gone through with some of them and created, you see this little um, footnote at the end of some of the lines. So for the Whidbey Examiner, this now tells you that that book, New Editions, also has, uh, has an entry for that. And so if you wanted to use that, um, as a reference in the book, in the article, you could just copy the code for that footnote and then again paste that into the would be examiner draft article. Uh, if you 
want the actual text of that so that you can legitimately use it as a source, um, you you could ask me and I could just I could send you a scan of that page or something. And so we should probably put something on this page to say who has access to what offline sources to make it easier to share resources like that. The next one uh, is a, is sort of a similar list, but this is from a 1903 article. So this would be really good for historical papers. Uh, and so this the Pioneer Papers of the Puget Sound is a journal article that was published in the Washington Historical Quarterly. And again, here's a list of every paper that's mentioned in there. Now, a few of these are still going to be existing newspapers. The Seattle Post-Intelligencer, actually these two merged. So that's uh, this is something that could be used as a reference for existing articles. Uh, some of them might be really obscure papers, uh, so that it might be a little bit difficult to demonstrate notability to put them on Wikipedia. But again, this could be a, um, a resource in figuring out which historic papers to write a newspaper article, or write a Wikipedia article about. Um, if we go down a little further, there, this is the general resources section. So here again is an entry for that book that I was just talking about. Uh, and then there are a number of others listed on here as well. Um, obviously, it's better if there's a link um, you know, for this book, there is no online version of it, but at least we have the ISBN number. So if you wanted to buy a copy of it or look it up at, an, at a library, uh, this would make it a little easier to do that. So uh, this is my sort of general overview of this page. This page is really a work in progress, whether it's about Washington or our page for Black-owned newspapers or Caribbean newspapers. We really want you to help us improve these. So. Um, you know, these pages are really just for our own use within the campaign. There's not a lot of, of scrutiny on them. If there's something that you see about them that could be clearer, could make them easier to use, um, any improvements that you make are likely to be very much appreciated by other people in the News on Wiki campaign. Um, so please feel free to use this as a place to kind of practice your Wiki editing skills and uh, and help move us forward a little bit towards writing articles, uh, if, especially if you're not really ready to take on a full article yourself yet. Uh, thanks for watching, and keep coming back to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Also, please don't forget to, uh, to join our email list, uh, which you can do. I'm going to just click the back button a couple times here, go back to our News on Wiki page. Uh, on this page, you're going to find uh, links to join our mailing list. You can also add your name to this Wikipedia page in the project participants section. Thanks again, and hope to talk to you soon.